did that happen? What is up guys, my name is Logan Tremelin, and I'm a daily vlogger. I'm here to encourage you guys to defy the odds, no matter what the odds are, and I can do that because I've defied the odds, I've defied life two times in my life, and every single day, every step of the way, I'm continuing to defy the odds. Before I show you guys how I just did that, this isn't a tutorial, just to let you know, I'm just gonna show you the style, show you the influence I had from trying that because I wanna take more time making my videos every single day. I don't just wanna skim through them and make a simple daily vlog. I wanna challenge myself, I wanna try new things. And this is the first time I'm trying that. So I was influenced to try that technique, that intro by Andreas Hem. I just found him be because of uh, Matty Hapoya's video, like showing his top five favorite creators. And I saw his videos and I was mind blown, like his use of editing and after effects and like storytelling and just uniqueness in his videos is like blows any other content out of the water that I've ever seen on YouTube. So I wanted to give it a shot. But before I show you how I went through this process and how I took his technique and made it my own, I want to give my two cents on this whole idea of creating versus consuming. So I went through this big phase where I didn't want to consume at all because in my eyes that would make me copy, quote unquote, copy other creators because I'd see their videos and be like, that day I'd like be influenced by that and I'd go and make a video that like had the same style, had the same vibe of their video. So I didn't want to watch any other creators at all. Like there were weeks at a time where I didn't watch any other videos. And then I realized that I was starting to run out of creativity. My vlogs recently, the past month or two, haven't excited me. I had a couple that like made me feel good but for the majority I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all actually and they had no creativity. And then I started watching a few because I was home and I had some time just to relax. And that's when I found Andreas's videos and a couple other creators' videos. But Andreas's videos really like hit me differently because the amount of creativity, the amount of production value he brings into his vlogs blows my mind. And if you haven't checked him out yet, Right as soon as this video is done, go check out one of his videos. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. He's by far my favorite creator on the platform. So my old belief that I shouldn't be consuming anything, only creating, I don't believe anymore. Now I believe that I should be consuming very specifically to people who are just destroying the game just like Andreas is. And I should be doing my best to bring some of their techniques, some of their skills, some of their knowledge, some of their experience into what I'm creating on a daily basis. And if I can do that, then I'm gonna become a much better video creator, much better editor because of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm sitting on an abandoned, like, it's an, I don't think it's a bit no, this is an abandoned bridge, like, look. So you guys want to see how I uh, did that whole zoom in transition now? I'm going to do a spin transition to get back to my room, back to my studio to show you guys what to do. Here we go. Oh, it didn't work. Um, guess I'm going to have to drive back. And I didn't schedule time for that. Okay, so I'm at my computer. I'm about to edit that intro I was talking about. 
What I did is uh, after you watch Andreas's video, he does a very good job of explaining what I'm about to try. But he has free downloads that will be a clouds, a plane, two different planes to choose from, a helicopter. And you can also use his screenshots. So basically what he does is he goes to Google Maps, he takes a low screenshot, then he zooms out, takes a screenshot, moves to a different location, takes a screenshot, and zooms in and, and takes a screenshot. Mine's a little different because I'm not doing a transition between clips, I'm doing an intro. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the big zoomed out picture, and I'm taking the next closest in picture, and I'm scaling it down and I'm going to match it to this map so that when I zoom in, it doesn't lose quality. Okay, I'm back and I finally figured it out. I'm not going to lie, I was very confused at first. It seems so simple, but what I was doing is I was taking the big image and making that the size of this. And I was taking the small image and shrinking it. But that's not right. You, that, when you do that, when you shrink that small image, it takes all the quality away. So what you need to do is you need to take your smaller image, the image closer to the ground, and you start with that one. And I made that my entire screen. And then instead of shrinking anything, I took the next zoomed out photo which would be the second highest or the second lowest photo and I expanded that I didn't shrink it I expanded it to match it up so then if I really zoom in here you can see this is my main one then you zoom out match the second photo to that first photo and then you zoom out again and match the third photo to that one so you attach all of them to a null object so then all you need to do is you zoom in and out from the null object and right now we're close and then we zoom way out. It makes sense now that I'm now that I'm doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead, add some more frames in. I'm gonna finish attaching all these to the null object and fitting them together. Okay, so I am done putting all the clips in. I just added all my keyframes. I'm just gonna show you what I did. So you start really far out, and I did that by going to the null object and just scaling. I took it down to 1% of scale just to get as far out as I possibly can without it inverting itself. So I started from here and that's where I went into layer, new, and created a camera. I waited about half a second then you hit P to create a keyframe which I put there. So the first half a second there's no movement and then the next second after that I zoomed in by taking the position of the of the camera and zooming it in. So the first Half a second is nothing, then it zooms in for a second, then it slows down for another half a second. You just do all this by keyframing, and then it zooms in again and it slows down, and then I have about two seconds to play around with my punch in transition to go into my camera. Okay, that is it guys. It, it took me a while to figure out what I was supposed to be doing, but once I got it, it made a lot of sense, and now I will show you what I ended up with. Whoa! How did that happen? I think it turned out pretty good. It's not the best, but for my first time ever using After Effects, I literally just downloaded it and started playing with the platform. I think it turned out pretty good. There's so many different things that you can do with After Effects, with editing, that you may never try. So I think this idea of creating and consuming, you need to have a nice balance between both. And for me, following people like Andreas and Peter McKinnon and Matty Hapoya, they really like challenge my thoughts and make me want to try more complicated things just like this intro. So I'm definitely going to make it a habit to continuing to challenge myself to try different techniques, try different things that other creators do. And that's the end of this one guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you found some value in it. And I will see you tomorrow.